Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about how to set up triggers inside of an Entreport campaign. So we're going to go ahead and create a new campaign from scratch. As you know, we can use a couple pre-existing templates, but we're going to create this one from scratch. So it starts off with an initial trigger, as you can see here, but you can create a different trigger here, which is similar to what you would see in the rules feature. So let's say contact is added to sequence. And right here, you can decide what sequence they're added to, or if you wanted to create a new sequence or just any sequence whatsoever. So for the sake of this example, I'm just going to say that sequence. Now, before I close out, I can actually go over here into the settings and get a little bit more specific, like who can activate this trigger? Any contact on the map or any contact in the account period. So I specify that here. The other thing I can do is what to do if the contact is already on the map. Do I ignore the trigger? Do I move here when triggered or um, here again? Which one do I do? And then can this trigger only be activated once per contact? You can specify that right here. So you're doing all this with regards to the trigger right here inside the campaign builder. And once you're done, you hit done. So as you can see right now, these are two disconnected triggers within one specific campaign. So this is how you go about adding triggers to your new campaigns inside of the Entreport Campaign Builder. And if you need any assistance with building out your campaigns or even moving over your existing sequences and rules into the Campaign Builder, please don't hesitate to reach out to me at akilapits.com forward slash chat and I'd be happy to assist you. Take care and happy building.